What is going on everybody? Lambo here and this video is for people who are brand new to the editor, brand new who are trying to convert mods but don't have a clue what they're doing and end up with some wild funky stuff. Let's just get started with the basics here and the best way to do that is have the game make you a mod for you. So I have the editor open here and we're going to go up to file, new mod from game. All right, so I have it open, new mod from game, and I'm going to click here. And right now I'm looking for the John Deere X, XUM something. You're basically going to have to scroll through here and find it is what you're looking for. And I recommend starting off with something simple. A tractor is not simple, just FYI. So like a pickup truck or we are going to go for the little retriever, you know, like the little golf cart looking things. So we're going to select this. And it'll show us where this i3D is located and what type it is. It's a store item. So I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to give me a location that it's uh, the working directory is going to be the folder that it's going to work out of. I am going to go through and find my mods folder. And I'm actually going to do it from here. Depending on where your game is installed, mine is documents, my games, farming simulator 22, mods. I'm going to select folder. Oh, actually, I'm going to create a new folder because if not, it'll put all that junk right in there. So let's create a folder here really quick. We're going to call it the Go Go Cart. Go Go Cart. Okay, now that I got that named, I'm going to select Go Go Cart. You can name it whatever it is you want. Okay, now we're working out of there. It's going to take a second. It's going to go through and create everything. I like to pay attention down here at the console. It gives you any potential errors that might pop up before you put it in game. And the first thing I want you to notice when you very first do this is where it says outdoor camera. We currently are using the outdoor camera, you know, the camera that allows you to pan around a vehicle. And if you go through and you move it, like this and that and you go around and you're looking and then you hit save that's what your camera angle will be and it'll be all messed up so my first suggestion when you do this is don't move around at all you want the camera exactly where it was before we're gonna go up to create camera now we're gonna have a working camera before I put it anywhere it may seem a little silly but I want to control X the camera so cut and I like to put the camera before the other cameras because when you load into the mod it'll load the first camera it comes into so I hide it inside of the wheels after that we're gonna right click camera see where it says camera right here we're gonna hop into that camera now we can save the mod anytime we want with this camera anywhere because it's not currently being used in the mod just like a work camera and we can even rename it that work cam all right we're gonna hit save on that prepare the i3d now this is a working in-game vehicle so we really don't have to do anything with it but I definitely want to show you what it created I have the folder open, go, go, cart, boom, da, 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 and this is what it's created for me. It's created a mod disk, a store image. It saved the i3D file, the where if I edit it at all, it won't mess up my game. And then it also created an XML file. Now we're taking a look at the mod disk that it created and kind of running down through here if you haven't learned about the mod disk i do have a complete video i'll try to remember to put up in the cards right now but what it's done here is it's the author this is the name on my computer and we can change this to your name or lambo me right this is the version this is the first time you've been working on this so this will be version 0000 and then your mod name let's call it go go cart silly stuff but it works then you would give it a description it's already looking for this icon file that I showed you a little bit ago 
and then it's already set the, the path for the XML. So if you just need a mod disk, this is an easy way to create a mod disk really fast that you can use for your other mods. And you would just copy this XML file into whatever mod it is you're working on, and then you would have it from there. Now we're taking a look at the store icon that it created. This It basically took the in-game picture that it has and copied it into your folder, so then you can go through and add in whatever it is you want. If we were to save this, let's go save as. It's already in there. We need to make sure we save it as DDS, direct draw service. So when we hit save, yes, I want to replace it. It's going to bring up some options here. And I want you to look up here at the settings. It's a BC3 linear or a DXT5. You want to make sure it's this one for these uh, store icons. And then we would generate bitmaps and then hit save. Now I've opened up the XML file to show you what it creates in here. And it essentially copies everything that's in the game about this vehicle onto here. And if you weren't to mess with anything, this should work flawlessly with no issues straight off the cart right from Giants. Now when using this method, I'm going to show you one of the first errors you're going to get because it doesn't quite work perfectly is icon. It doesn't create this icon file name. We're going to bring that back up. As you can see, it created a icon, but it says store XUV 865. We're going to take that name, hit copy. And then we're going to paste it in there, hit save, but it is going to have this error, as you can see here, where it says my mod name. It doesn't have an icon, but that would fix your issue that you're going to have. Okay, now I'm in game and I'm going to actually just hit back to show you. We have the John Deere right here. That's the stock in game one. And then it shows our mod, which will have our mod name, which is the name of the, the file we saved, but you can change that. And we are going to look at it now and then press our tilde key. If you don't know how to activate your dev commands, then I have a video up in the cards. Go check that out, please. We're going to look at it. Zero errors. This is a quote unquote perfect mod right now. Has all the attachers and I just like to have the tilde key up while you're scrolling through this stuff because you are, if you notice, we're loading different objects here and it's reloading it. If you have any issues, it'll show up here. I've purchased it now and we're looking pretty good, right? It has its flashers, it has everything that works. I do believe, uh, let's check the tension belts, those work perfect. Got your weak little horn, right? All right, that's the basic stuff. We're just going to go over the basics in this video and now in future videos if you want we will go through and I'll show you how to change colors, how to edit the wheels and do all that fun stuff. But what I highly recommend you do is don't convert a mod right off the bat. If you message me about converting a mod or doing something and you haven't watched, watched and done this video, I'm not going to help you. If you've done this video and the following videos, I will do my very best to help you. But some mods are just way overwhelming and please just understand that I have lots of people messaging me and it gets kind of overwhelming. So do your due diligence and I will do my best to help you. So slap a like on that video if you want to see more of these and we will go through and break down all the parts that you could edit on this. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.